We stopped off in Bloomington, Illinois at the Item Shop, a new retro video game store to the area. It's run by the same folks that put on the Bloomington Normal Game Con, now the Illinois Game Con. Let's go take a look inside and see what they've got. Look at all of these awesome toys that they have inside the store. I mean, amazing stuff regardless if you're a fan of Transformers, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, and a whole lot more. Down in the glass case here, they have the BB-8, some rumble packs and whatnot down below. We have some DS and 3DS games, and above here we have some Wii titles and some Switch titles. Let's see, we've got Crash Bandicoot. Then below here we also have some GameCube games and SSX Tricky, which I know J over Square Pegs just talked about. Some Wii U titles, not a huge selection, but man, look at all of these Wii discs. There's a lot of Wii, plus you've got Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. I was looking to see if they had Conkers Reloaded, but they did not. Here is Tomb Raider for the PlayStation 2. And some loose Sega Master System games. There's Action Fighter. And Ridge Racer! You remember Ridge Racer, don't you? Sorry, couldn't resist. Here's actually a boxed Action Fighter. And then we also have... What is this one here? This is Miracle Warriors. Love seeing Sega Master System games out in the wild. Nights into Dreams for the Sega Saturn. This is one I've thought about picking up for a long time, just haven't pulled the trigger. Rock Paintings for the Sega CD, also very cool. Atari 2600 games in the box and some boxed NES. Ooh, we have an NES cleaning kit. Very, very cool. Along the top of the walls here, you can see lots of Funko Pops. If you are a fan of those, definitely have plenty of those to choose from. And World of Nintendo figures here too. Something really for everybody. Now, just a little bit down here, you do also have some Sonic the Hedgehog characters, which is pretty cool. Look at this Garfield lunchbox. I think I had this in like second or third grade. Then you have the Peanuts characters as well, right in front of G.I. Joe. Eh, whatever. And then the McDonald's Mario Kart figures here too. We've got a ton of these as well. Some more Star Wars stuff, some Galoob. Oh, look at that TIE Bomber. That's pretty awesome. Chicken Walker there. You have some X-Man figures here too. Some more World of Nintendo figures. Here's a Shy Guy. Check this out up above here. Uh, look at the little tiny Link Microland figures. That's pretty cool. Now, right next to this, they did have a Sega Genesis set up for people to test out games and to just play, too, with Aladdin, one of the best games on here. Up on the wall, they did have some Amiibo, some rare Amiibo in here, too, and some commons as well. They are actually getting some 3D-printed Amiibo stands for me to help their displays out. Some boxed NES games, Wolverine. I didn't realize Captain America and the Avengers was worth that much box. Now, I have a loose copy that I got at the first Mo Game Con. I love that game. Really, really fun. They do have, you know, just a great selection here of NES games. Everything is, you know, clean, organized, priced fairly. Super NES right above them. Wasn't really sure what I was looking for. I just knew I wanted to check out what they had here. Ooh, Super Game Boy. And they also have some N64. That Earthworm Jim 3 actually left the store. Someone bought it while I was there. Have some uh, Game Boy Advance SP, some DS and Switch loose titles there. Also have a uh, box, looks like N64 games, some other Wii games. Pokemon Stadium XD, very cool that we have that in here. And some uh, Wii and Wii U titles as well. They do sell consoles here. Uh, you've got uh, the original NES, there's a top loader back there. PS3, PS4, PS2, uh, NES Classic Edition. Look at the uh, R2-D2 Edition, Xbox 360, very, very cool. Some more N64 titles here, and one of them that caught my eye was WCW Backstage Assault. This game is so bad. They do have some more boxed N64. Cool to see that. Imports, too. I've actually picked up some imports from them in the past. And, oh, here's Jay from Square Pegs, his favorite N64 game, Yoshi's Story. Sing it for me. Jay, 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 Jay. Moving on down, we've got PS1 and PS2 titles. Now, I pick on Jay, but he just pointed out Championship Pro-Am in a recent video from him for the Sega Genesis. i got to pick that up. 
32X games in here. Some Atari Jaguar games in here as well. Some more Funko Pops in their showcase. Some Star Wars toys. They also have R2QT, which was something designed for a charity event for a young girl who had cancer. And the lines down there from Voltron. Look at these box transformers. Classic G1. Gotta love that. Now up above here, look at these. These would be perfect for John Riggs. Look at these cereal bowls. These are absolutely awesome. In the box, Power Master Optimus Prime. I had one of these. That's Unicron. I didn't even catch that uh, when I was in the store. There's a Unicron there. Now they also have a back room with board games and VHS and DVDs and some of their overstock. Look at this. We have Asterix. And again, overflow there for PS2, PS3, some Xbox stuff, some overflow on the NES side of things too. Some of the more commons uh, that we find here, Silent Scope is in here, Jackal, uh, Spy Hunter, some more Genesis games too. Looks like someone spray painted these. Ooh, complete in box play action football. You know, around the top too, some more really cool things in this room. I love this. I don't know if it's a rug or a blanket or what it is, but Super Mario World, absolutely love it. Have a working arcade pinball machine in here. Very classic to hear the ding, ding, ding. Here's IRS Erwin R. Scheister from the Funko Pops. You're a classic WWF fan. You know this guy. Mickey and Minnie, these guys look creepy. Some more Funko Pops. Doramon, just for Chris over at Game Dad. Now, the Star Wars Ewoks and Star Wars Droids, very cool DVDs to see. I'm going to be back here soon to buy a whole lot of stuff. So there you have it, our look inside the item shop. We've got a train going behind us, of course, when we're trying to record here. But very cool store. If you are in the central Illinois area, if you are close to Bloomington Normal, this is a great place to check out. Plus, make sure you check out the Bloomington Normal Game Con coming next year. I believe it's June. We will be there. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at castlemaniagames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.